How good does it feel to be 2 0, Kalen Galoot? Uh, I said it feels good, you know, it's a step in the right direction. You know, this is my first time, like, since I've been here that we started off 1-0 at least. But now, you know, just taking the next step, we're going 2-0, you know, it means a lot to us. Coach wasn't too excited with the way you guys practiced yesterday when you spoke to him? Yes, sir. He's very pleased with the way you guys came out today. What do you attribute to that sort of switch and mentality? No, just the way we practiced yesterday, I feel like it was slow. You know, just to come out, you know, we had to make correction, you know, just to get the mindset, okay, we got to get better today because yesterday was not good enough for the team that we said we want to be. You know, we want to be the best thing we could each week. And, you know, yesterday's practice wasn't the standard. So today, you know, we just had to come out with the mindset, of, let's get better and just, you know, take the next step forward. It's been kind of evident the first two games of how the defense is pursuing the ball. How much better has pursuit gotten to the football with you guys? A pursuit, I know that's a big part of us. You know, we start our practice with pursuit, so, you know, that's a big emphasis for us. We want all 11 hats to the ball because we feel like no offense can beat all 11 hats to the ball. So, you know, that's just a big emphasis for us. DJ Lundy had a nice uh, play on the ball today in coverage. Just yeah. how much growth has he made in, in that area, being fast and being able to play in space? Oh yeah, DJ way more twitch. You know, he's trying to, he's starting to understand the play like before it even happened. He could see okay by like this the tight end alignment, or he might run this route. So you know, he might be able to undercut it or just you know just have a better coverage on the play in general. What's it like seeing one of your? Uh, your segment mates going out there on offense and scoring. Yeah, touchdowns. I was so excited for him because, you know, they always put him in the package but, like, never gave him the ball. So, you know, for him to to get the ball and then score for the first time he touched, you know, it was amazing, and especially in that environment. There were plays in the game where you and Tatum were communicating pretty well. Pre How long did it take to get on the same page with him? And did you have to do extra work away from the field together? Oh, yeah, most of the, you know, me and Taylor, we'll go up there. Well, all, really all the linebackers, we'll go up there, you know, extra time just to meet, you know, just on communication because that's a big, you know, big emphasis in our room, communication. And then, you know, just being with each other throughout the summer, all, the spring, all that, you know, just spending time with each other on and off the field. And when you see a play like that, there's one where there's a tackle for loss. You make the play and yes. he cleans it up. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, how, how exciting is that? For you? That was very exciting because, you know, he had my back. You know, if it was him, I'd have his back the same way he had mine. When you're off and your opponent's playing, do you guys watch the game or do you wait just wait for the clips to come in? How does that happen? Uh, I said we watched the game or like previous games the week before, you know, just to get a scheme of, or maybe uh, they said they got a new coach, we'll watch some to where, like, where they came from, but, you know, just to get a heads up what they might run. Do you like um, chart plays during games? Like, how, how do you watch the game? Uh, I just, like, we miss, when I watch film, I basically watch more of like formations. Like see what formation they run, but mostly everything, everybody runs the same thing, line up in the same formation. So, it, it's. Do you guys get together Friday night and, and watch as linebackers, or do you go home and just watch it on your own time? Uh, sometimes we, like, we might have meetings that will come up here late night. Like we'll set it up our own stuff. We'll text in the group chat. Like okay, we're gonna meet up this time. You know, just to, cause Coach Shane like he'll make practice clips for us to watch to be ready for the next day of practice. So we'll all get together, just watch it at one time. So we could talk about communication or like we could talk about how we might set the front this week or just the little thing, you know. I know you've seen him before, but do you think uh, Jaden Daniels' speed helps you prepare this year for Malik Cunningham? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, sir. You know, uh, we, he was a very mobile quarterback. You know, we, we knew what he was capable of, you know, from freshman year. We played at Arizona State that he he was a nice runner. You know, that we were going to have to, we were going to need to get on our horses. Like if he was to scramble, you know, we were going to need somebody to beat up. What did last year's game against Louisville, it was really a tale of two halves for the defense, I guess. In hindsight, did that end up being a, a changing point for you guys for the season? Uh, I, I could say yes. You know, we just, I think we made up our mind, you know, we did, this is what we want to do. Like, this is the type of defense we need to be all four quarters, not just the one half. We need to play like this all four quarters. And then having that mindset that we could do it. Do you think being in that situation, I know it, the last couple drives didn't go well for that defense, but just being in that situation is something that will help you guys Oh yeah, most definitely a learning experience. You know, just the I'd say, just the communication, just just the um, the, the success of the play. Not not necessarily like you know, just we need everybody to the ball. Like I say, with a quarterback scrub, we need all eleven hats to the ball. Or like he throw a pass, we need all eleven hats to the ball in that situation because you know they can't score. Earlier, early in the game, you guys were doing that, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. We had we had somebody for the quarterback early in the game. Yes, sir. Did that change in the final drive just in terms of the rallying or were guys panicking? I guess what, what did change in that in that last drive for you? I think most of the situation we just tried not to let them score. That's really big picture approach. Just to do whatever we can not to let them score. Like that was that was really it. A lot of fans and media 
probably might have been a little surprised by how well Jordan threw the ball. Oh yes, sir. You guys have been seeing that. Yeah, we've been seeing that. Since we've seen the strides from when he, from last year to this year. It's, it's totally different. You know, he he's more comfortable in the pocket. You know, he has you know the time. You because know, the O line they've been together three or four years now. So you know they got the chemistry they need to have, the communication they need to have. So I feel like he's way more comfortable. You know, with the guys he got in front of him to be able to throw the ball to the people he need to throw it to. Thank you.